I ordered the gloves in the mail off Amazon. They were 80 Australian dollars and that's a lot, but they don't make them in store anymore. I invested in those, which is annoying because I'll only be wearing one glove and not two of them. So I've bought two with the intention to only use one glove. That's actually a good thing, I guess, because I'm going to use the second glove as a test run for the left hand glove, which is the one that she wears. They came in the mail. So these are the authentic gloves that they use in the movie. Well, glove, she only wears the left hand one. It's by Marucci. I'm a size small and even then I have like a quite big hand because they're for men. So yeah, these are legit, like legit gloves. I'm using this photo of the glove for reference. And as you can see, the Marucci is not there and I think they've actually put a different piece of material on there. And this blue metallic material is what I'm sourcing. I am off to the city today because I don't have work today. I've got a free day. I'm going to go to Lincraft, which is a fabric store and like all that kind of stuff, like Spotlight. And then I'm going to go to Scotty's, which is, uh, I don't know, like a half hour walk from there. And it's a special effects makeup store. I'm going to get the blue metallic material for the glove. And also I'm going to go and get the special effects makeup for Harley when she's all beaten up. So yeah, that's all very exciting. And that's it. I found the material for the glove. That's not exactly the same then it's bloody close. It's $13.95 per meter. So I don't need a full meter. Okay, so I'm in Scotty's and the lovely lady at the counter is helping me. So Margot's all dirtied up and it's going to be a combination of brown and black kind of dirt and we're going to use this sponge. So this sponge is specially for it. That sponge is really good to get that blotchy, dirty feel and these, the sponge is $2.50 and the dirts are $10 each. Isn't it, would you like to be? I want to be. Hello, I'm internet. <laughs> yes, this is Gria. I have a mixing palette for my foundations, my black and brown dirts, final seal. So this is like a makeup setter. So at the very end, it'll keep my makeup in place, my dirt sponge and my congealed blood for on her neck and also the, the cut on her forehead. So that is my super big haul, which is gonna last me forever and other things as well. Hey everyone, I just got back from work. It's about 8 p.m. now. I'm going to head over to Ellen's house. She's sharp scissors on Instagram and she's so good at what she does. Ellen's been helping me with a lot of my cosplay things and making my new and improved clubbing dresses. So Ellen's job is actually to make costumes for theater and things like that. Like she's a costume maker, it's insane. We are heating up the M so we can peel off that logo because it's raised and then you'll see it underneath the blue. So that is what's happening. I trust Ellen with the iron. I'll burn myself. Using a pressing cloth. <laughs> Using a pressing cloth. Which is a tea towel. Once you heat it, it's so easy just to... That is ridiculously easy. Like there candy from a baby. Look at those puppy dog eyes. She's photograph. She's so dark. She's so cute. So at the store, the minimum amount of material you can get is 20 centimeter increments. And this is how much I have. Look at this, this is ridiculous. I only need this much of that material. Ellen is measuring out the square on some Visofix, and I said that really weird, I don't know why I said it like that. So this is Visofix, it's like the sticky stuff. Applique. Applique, that's the word I was looking for. Peeling off the baking Ooh, paper side, so we've got the sticky sticky applique on the material. And then it's going on the glove. Look at that glove. Oh my gosh. It's pretty good. It's sticking okay? So this is just applique. We were thinking of sewing it in just for extra security. I don't think you need to. Don't think you need to? I think, oh, it's looking fabulous. You look amazing in that glove. <laughs> Ellen is making some big moves. <laughs> executive decision. And an executive decision that was made in 10 seconds is okay. It is, <laughs> it's off. done, it's off. We just take the Velcro off and we make a new tab. Yeah. Genius. So basically we cut off the Marucci, it was like unpicked this, it. unpicked it, took the Velcro off, this is our size of Velcro. So we've appliqued a plain bit of black cotton onto the back of the Velcro, and then we have the silk for a, a shinier effect. We couldn't find any pleather. <laughs> Ellen's going to recreate the bind with silk because we don't have the actual leather. I was just going to sew the bind to the Velcro tab. Yes, okay, easy. 
easy. Something I could never do. <laughs> Ellen is stitching on the Velcro onto the left glove. We are cutting the glove. This is the right hand, so we're using it for a reference. Basically, it's straight all the way across from what we've gathered. Okay, it's happened. We're just doing the same process, but with the actual left hand. <laughs> the actual one. So we did the test run and now it's getting serious. All right, gang, the glove is done. Look at that magic. Oh my God. So cut off the fingers, all good. And I've got the vinyl. Oh my, I just, speechless. That is the finished product. High five. Hello. Hey. Feel free to have those. You can keep them. <laughs> I'll treasure them forever. <laughs> treasure them for the rest of my life. And this is... <laughs> and together we make one glove. <laughs> we are one. So here is the glove triangle in comparison to the amount of fabric that I had to purchase. <laughs> the ceremonial... Oh, yes. Yes, just work it. Own that ponytail. Work that up, do. <laughs> A celebratorial finger cutting confetti. I was gonna be like, <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Into the camera. <laughs> it's beautiful. There's fingertips all over the floor. Oh, by the way, look how messy her room is. Shame her on the internet. Shame her. <laughs>